Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life, and I'm just dropping in to today to share a favorite new notion with you. This is diagonal seam tape, and I've talked a little bit about it on my blog, but today I thought it would be great to show you exactly how I use it, what it's used for, and to give you a hands-on demonstration. I'm going to show you how I use it to make flying geese blocks or easy folded corners so that you don't have to draw any lines and spend any time doing that. And I'm also going to show you how to use the diagonal seam tape to make half square triangles. So let's head on over to the sewing machine and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so the diagonal seam tape comes in a little package like this. And once you take it out of the package, it's just kind of like a roll of washi tape. And it comes apart easily. I love how small it is that you can just stick it in your sewing bag and take it with you wherever you go. You'll notice that there are three lines, a center red line and then two black lines, which are both exactly a quarter of an inch on either side of the red line. And what you're going to do to line it up on your sewing machine is line up the quarter inch line on the right hand side with the quarter inch line on your machine. Um, and so I've applied the tape and I like to apply it as far down as I can and I'll show you why in a minute for when you start sewing you can start lining things up way down at the bottom. So today I'm, first thing I'm going to show you is how to do flying geese um, just using this tape and not having to use a pencil to draw any lines. Normally you would have to take the time to take a ruler and draw a line and on all, every single piece of your fabric and it would take a lot of time. But what I do is I just line up the corner with the red line and I also line up the bottom with the red line and I'm going to start sewing. And I'm just going to always keep the bottom corner down here just right on top of that red line. So I'm getting a true diagonal on my fabric. And I'm just going to follow that all the way to the end and then without stopping um, this is also called chain piecing. Um, I'm just going to feed the next one in, keeping that bottom corner on the red line all the way through. And then I'll just finish up these final two. If you have troubles at starting and stopping at the beginning, your needle might be dull. So be sure to change change your needle if you have a problem with the fabric snagging. And then I'll just do this last one. And so you can see how much time that saved. Um, for one thing, not having to stop and start in between each one. And for another thing, that you've got all of these perfect diagonal lines for your flying geese and you didn't have to use a pencil. Now there's another way that I like to use this tape and it's for those patterns where they tell you to draw a diagonal line down the center of, of your fabric and then they tell you to sew a quarter of an inch on either side. Well, that can be a pain also because you have to draw that line or some people worry and they'll draw that line and then they'll go ahead and draw the other two lines this way you don't have to draw any line. So what you're going to do is you're first going to line the two diagonal points up with this left side black line. And what that's going to mean is that this red line, which is lined up with your needle, is a quarter of an inch away. So we're going to start sewing there. And then we're going to flip the fabric around and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to line it up with that left black line again. And we're going to make sure at the bottom that it's lined up. That way, what we've done is we've accomplished sewing two lines. They're exactly half an inch away apart from each other. You can double check it with the tape. Um, and then if you cut down that diagonal um, 
you'll actually break your piece into two separate half square triangles that are then ready to be trimmed um, and put into your quilt. So this tape, this diagonal seam tape, is just a real game chaser, changer. It keeps you from having to get out that pencil and draw all of those unnecessary lines. I hope you enjoyed this little video on one of my new favorite notions, diagonal seam tape. It's really been a game changer for me and a big time saver. And subscribe to the channel if you like what you've seen and I'll be back with more great quilting content soon. Thanks so much for stopping by.